Hey guys, so this is here bringing you a, another video. Welcome back to Unranked to Master E Northeast Edition, and we are at 91 LP in Diamond 1. We're playing Mal's because I again had to blind pick, and like, what do you play when you're blind picking mid? I just played Anivia because I blind picked, and I didn't want to play another Anivia game. So believe it or not, the load of Maduda, Poor Professor, shows these are the season 11 stats, not the last 30 days. We have not played a single game of Mal's in this series. So this is the first game of Mal's on this account. It's a Diamond 1 game. No Master players, actually, in this match. No Syndra games. Duo, Camille Evelyn. Um, obviously, when we get to Master, you're not allowed to duo. But because these players are Diamond 1, they can still duo. Um, I actually potentially would like if Riot removed duo queuing for Diamond. But mm, we'll see if they ever do that. So yeah, if you guys haven't heard the idea, I just told Twitch chat and some of them like, oh, guys, Huz, don't do it. Hey, Cthulhu. Um, the decide when we get in Master Promo, if we go like two wins straight away, the third game of Master Promo will be playing Yumi. And even if we go two wins, two losses, it's game five. It's the deciding game. We're then going to play a Yumi. The, in the, whatever the deciding game is, we are playing a Yumi game. Oh. <laughs> Who did he get? He got the Lulu. That's great. Kralopus, 24, 28 months with tier 1, says over two years, and they keep coming. Cheers. Thank you so much, dude. You can't do own Master and Above? Nope. Because of all... Well, they have a lot of problems with, like, boosting strategies and gimmicky weight. What's happening here? I can see Malzahar's shadow. That was weird. Um, yeah, like, people would keep swapping accounts and, like, doing weird duo strategies with low MMR, high MMR, and stuff like that. Um, just kind of cheesing their way to getting rank 1, basically. Pr and pretty much every single person that got rank 1 was a duo player, and Riot was like, mm. So they just removed duoing for Master and above. But I, I wish they actually removed it in Diamond and above. Like, when you're... If you're deadly serious about the game in solo queue, Diamond is where the rate... Wait, they've updated Malzahar by the looks of it. Um, but yeah, like to me, Diamond is where the game starts getting more serious anyway. And like maybe that's where removing Duo would be kind of interesting. Because then everybody will be a solo. Yes, everybody will be a solo player. That just, I don't know. It, in my head, it's a cool idea. But obviously I'm not a Duo queue fan. I think duo queue's fun. It's a casual way to play the game in solo queue. But in the higher tiers of play, I don't think it really belongs, personally. Because so many duo players just wouldn't be in the rating that they currently are unless they duoed. But I don't think they're ever going to do it. Well, I say never say never because they did remove duo queuing in Master and Above, so... Yeah. Okay, the new Mal spells are kind of nice. Like, they look really cool. I, was it this patch that they did it? Because I swear I played a game of Mal Zahar on the Huzzy. Yeah! <laughs> uh, they, I played a game on the Huzzy account like a week ago or two weeks ago, maybe. And it was not looking like this. But I also was using a skin. So maybe base Mal Zahar? It just looks insane now. I don't know. But I presume they've updated all of it. It would be weird if it's like, we've updated uh, base Mal Zahar and nothing else. So, huh? Again, the no no flash meta in top lane, it can go really well and you can snowball, but it also can go really bad because you don't have flash. It was in August. God, time has just flown, man. Was it actually in August? What? Wait, Mal's got updated a year ago? Did he? Wait, what? Maybe I just haven't used... Because again, I've not played any Malzahar in this Smurf series, so I've only been using skins when I played it on Huzzy account. So maybe I just haven't seen his base updated at all. It looks good. Air Ride. Thank you much, Air Ride, for the 25 months tier 1 sub. So our, our Blitzcrank, by the way, wanted to play Nami, but it got banned out. Yumi and Nami. Well, Yumi seems to be now a permaban. And the like, it's, she's an 80% ban in some ratings, I think, Yumi. People are just fed up with that champion, I think, finally. It's taken a while, but, you know. And I think it's because of Worlds. Yeah, it's got an 80% ban rate in Challenger, apparently, Yumi, right now. 
And I don't know if that's because people don't want it in their team, or they actually just don't want the enemy team to play it, or the fact that Yumi is just awful to play against. Could be all... Oh, nice hook! Damn. Wasn't far, far enough in the tower. So I will be prioritized ulting probably the Evelyn in late game. She comes for like a flank and just poof, ult, and you can't do anything. Stop. And I don't really take mind taking poke at the moment because I'll just be going back. Uh, I'm keeping up relatively okay with farm. I haven't used TP yet. I'm not doing. Who goes tier on Mal's? What? Why is that a thing? I don't think that TP would work. They they need to be over here. Hey, Averin. Uh, I don't know if you saw, but your YouTube comment, but you got gifted a sub again after last month. I legit cried from happiness. Oh, again, we've got an amazing community. What the hell? That Lulu flash. Riven was nowhere near her, right? We should force the dragon from that because Riven TP'd for nothing so far. We're not doing dragon. Can people uh, confirm? Does Control Ward show Evelyn again or not? I don't remember. Hey, big breach. I think it does. Yeah, it does, right? Because I remember that because the new camo zones for Hex or Chemtac Dragon, whatever the hell it's called. That um, thingy control wards do show you in that as well. Okay, we're actually winning in farm now, believe it or not. Feels weird, man. Oh my god. Are you serious? Uh, Frost Sil, eight months of Prime says, have a great day. You too, you too. Oh. It's a really good dragon, by the way. I have based a lot this game. <laughs> oh, Evelyn's six. So Talon's a little bit behind in XP, but he did do dragon. And did you go? How's it going, bud? This Riven is aggressive. Hammer, 22 months. 22 months, almost two years watching you, Huzzy. It's been crazy, but it's been fun. Here's some more months of watching streams. Hell yeah, dude. It's really kind. Oh, she dodged. Yeah, that ribbon is overcooking this game. Yeah, ribbon needs to calm down a little bit. It's just not necessary. Jeebus. Jeebus with the 51 months. What? How did that land? Thank much, Jeebus. Oh, that was an interesting hook. He's Predator Blitzcrank, by the way. That's odd. Yeah, 51 months for Jeebus. Thank you very much. One of the mods. 
and a good friend of mine. Evelyn's in mid. I couldn't get that R off. Damn, that was close. So Evelyn nearly died then. But yeah, Syndra really gave away that play. I'm just going to run right at the Malzahar and hope it goes well. I mean, quite obvious, Evelyn's right next to you. How's our comp later, by the way? Uh, I actually do think we win this game by based by comp. Unless Camille is, like, unstoppable. Also, it seems our talent is a little bit more on it when it comes to objectives than the Evelyn. I don't know where Syndra is. It's very likely Syndra might come down to try and get a kill if I continue to go for that Lulu, so I'm just not going to go for it. Alright, nice TP redemption play there. Double kill for me. Very nice. I will take that happily. Actually, that one. Red Trinket's useful because if you if Evelyn has got her charm on you, pre press Red Trinket and you might see the outline of where she is. <laughs> Obviously, when you when her charm does the full thing, it gives you an arrow um, of where what direction she is. A lot of people don't realize that, but yeah, the arrow comes up like and tells you right she's left or right or up or down. That Blitzcrank could make the difference, and he did. Nice. Alright, this game's going pretty good. And I think we have a better comp than them in late game, arguably, if we worked well together. Where are you going? Somehow I'm still winning in farm. Okay, tal they, are, they went for a dive on the Misfortune, but they are, they've traded so far. Which isn't too bad, and Talon actually might end up with a dub. Oh, hello. That was a really bad gank by Evelyn. Like, that just... It's desperate, man. It just feels like they're playing desperate. Because maybe they are. Let's go over to the red, because I think Evelyn could be over there. Wouldn't surprise me too much. She can't solo dragons, can she? That's one of the big negatives of Evelyn, is she is so weak for dragons. But she does that kind of rubbish. I'm not a fan of Evelyn, by the way. What the hell's going on with you? That blue buff was possessed. We stopped the Syndra getting blue. That was the weirdest Syndra play I've ever seen. What? What the hell was that? Okay. I mean, I don't actually mind too much because we still get the plates. We get more gold because we get a kill and an assist. She just got a kill. I didn't expect that. Um, she just flashed forward. She wasn't even dead. Huh. All right. That was weird. That was odd. <laughs> Okie dokie. All right. If these two could find the Evelyn, that would be sick. Roaming gank squad of a Riven Blitzcrank. You know, that that very common roaming gank squad. But unfortunately... Oh, they found, they found her! <laughs> they actually found her! 
Let's go. That's hilarious. Yeah, we need Misfortune to get some help. This is the problem with Blitzcrank roaming now. Oh, she's dead! Oh, I would have liked if Misfortune got that kill. That would have been nice. Oh god, he got her! I'll take that. One for one, and we get dragon. We also am going to get this blue. That is fine with me. And obviously Evelyn, even though the game isn't going great for her team, she's obviously going to buy a Medjai this game because then Evelyn buys Medjai every single game. Because it's perfectly balanced. Oh, hello. Camille's there and Evelyn was there. Oh, hello. Yeah, Blitz died, but it was still worth. River needs to be careful of Evelyn. I think she's top lane. They're lane swapping. Interesting. Ooh. Oh, the TP's going bot lane. This Riven is so aggressive in her play. They're going to get a double kill for it, though. Jesus. This Riven's good. She's a one-trick Diamond 1 Riven main. I just want to get a double kill for our team. And... 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 Double kill. Okay. I'd rather lock that down and get the kill. Oh. Uh, this is over-aggression. Oh, no. That heat... Wait! She's back to half health. And Gore Drinker got fixed, huh? <laughs> Wait, she's a Gordrigger. How did she heal? Wait, what? She was nearly dead and then got to half health. What happened? Huh? Oh, yeah, that's fine. We we really overplayed that fight. We have complete pressure in this game, so. Wait, I'm so confused. She doesn't even have Gordrinker. How did Camille go from basically dead to being half health in a second? I don't know. Okay for the spam, dude. The uh, Lulu mispositioning. That interaction. All right, where's Evelyn? She should be around here. Ah, wards. Everyone's mid lane. Oh, she should have just pressed R. Oh, oh! Too late. That was bad reaction time by the Riven. Alright. The whole enemy team's mid. Man. We're overplaying this game a little bit. Oh, 
Pengu with a gifty subby. Thank you much, Pengu, bud. Paying forward to the gifted that Pengu got himself. Very kind. Oh god, that blitz. Stop what? Dude, that was so late. She could have stopped ulting like a couple seconds before. I'm on my way. Tell everybody I'm on my way. A ribbon. Yeah, she's just kind of inting now. Good old ribbon mains. And then she's going to tilt into oblivion because she's a ribbon main. Um, Gabriel Bercy, 29 months of Prime, says, Hey, Huz, have a good day. By the way, Samira was a mistake. God damn it. Yeah, so I'm a bit concerned about the Riven main because she seems good, very aggressive, but Riven one tricks are one of the highest rage quitting mains in the game. Syndra's like redeemed her game a fair amount as well. Oh. Don't think. River needed actually to go that direction, but it's fine. We're getting the momentum in this fight. That Riven just is moving forward. God, she just doesn't think. <laughs> it's just move full. Oh, lo lovely hook. Very nice hook. That should be Baron, actually. Very nice. Misfortune should come over. I don't even know if it was worth her, like, doing that tower play, to be honest. Because this isn't going to be the, the quickest Baron in the world. The good news is Riven will spawn with it, though. Lovely silence. Yeah, we knew Evelyn was about. God damn it. Missed my cue. Uh, yeah, I don't like the Misfortunes build. I actually think it's the weaker build. And what's a contradiction is she's gone PTA and she's done the alt build. If you're doing the alt build, you should not be doing PTA. That's where like Arcane Comet and Dark Harvest could be better. This aggression of Riven reminds you of the Silas I faced. Yeah, that Silas was also kind of just dumb aggressive too. Dumb aggression works in a lot of ways, but if you have a player that actually is a bit switched on, it will really backfire. I hit that silence on Syndra. That Camille really killed me? Uh, well, quadra kill. That's probably game. Again, I don't mind dying for when we get all four of them dead. Evelyn's the only one that didn't die because she did her initial engage and didn't get it off. So, I mean, that's fine. This game was looking a bit rough, but we managed to, like, turn it around quite well. Like, we had some... 
interesting plays, let's say. The the Riven was worrying me to a certain degree. Obviously, she's good at Riven, but again, that's what happens with a lot of Rivens. They're good at Riven, but then they just end up... Wow. They just end up, like, losing you a game because they just emotionally can't take a game to go a little bit bad occasionally. Ah, that's fine. A bit of overstay, but it, it happens. Um... We managed to kill the inhib in one tower. Maybe after one inhib, they should have just backed off. They're probably getting this dragon. Nice. Did he get that? Oh my god, Blitzcrank got that! What? We need to stick together. Together forever, no matter how far, now until the end of time. We'll be together, no matter how far, Ooh. Pokemon songs, yeah. Dude, Bye Bye Butterfree, as a kid, really did me in. <laughs> it really got to me. Say, so what the hell? I got the ability. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, I mucked up. Wow, we are mucking up badly. I mean, we broke open the base again, but. Ah, uh, Riven got killed without doing literally anything then. But, minions are starting to do stuff. This is where we need Baron to spawn while we have all this pressure. Hey, Thomas, I'm doing good. If we win this game, we're master promo, which if, you know, I said it earlier, if if I win the first two games, like t my goal today was to get master promo. And if we do it in the first two games of the day, we may as well just continue playing and get doing the master promo. Because I thought it was going to take a little bit more to get to Master Promo today. And who knows, we might we might lose this game. I don't want to jinx it. It's not a free win. Um, we are, as you can see, getting aced a couple times. By just overextending mistakes, really. Do, 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 do. Trist is alone? She can't be alone. There has to be Evelyn near her. Why are we alone? Where's our team? Oh, Riven's in their base. Right, okay. That's a good kill. They're trying to do Baron, and Riven might just end the game. That's re that's a mistake by the enemy team. All right, this is good. This is fine. All right. Really messy. Jesus Christ. Okay, we got another inhib. That's good. And then Riven can back out. Ah, oh, overstay. Got Evelyn, man. Hey, they got them. GG. Enemy team really mucked up. The, the fact that Evelyn didn't kill that misfortune and why? They bought a hex drinker. Oh my god, I can't believe Evelyn didn't get that kill. That's really bad by the Evelyn. I can TP into the base. Just jump on her face, dog pile. All right, there we go. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we are in Master Promo. No. There we go. I had a pretty good game, I'd say. 
a uh, bit up and down, overstaying, people not doing anything, getting aced at random times. Jesus Christ. But there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, who would I give it to? Um, Not the Riven. She was annoying. Probably the Talon or the Blitz. I'm going to give it to a Blitz. Because again, supports don't get honoured that much. But there we go. And ladies and gentlemen, we are in Master Promo. Um, we'll see if we can win the first promo. It'll be good. Uh, I'm going to do it today. Because my goal of today's stream was just to get in Master Promo. And we got there in two games we've we've played two today and we've won both so we may as well like you know do it now because it's only 1 at 1 p.m so i've got four hours left of today's stream that is plenty of time to get to, to do the master promo um the only thing that i will say is we are currently on a six or seven game win streak so we are potentially owed a loss soon <laughs> uh but there we go so six six ten Diamond one master promo and damage wise not too bad actually Riven's damage lower than I thought it would be uh, Misfortune actually taking over the damage charts a lot so well done to her and then between me and Syndra Syndra does a little bit more than me but that's no, I'm, I'm okay with that to be fair but there we go so we're in master promo that was the first time playing Mal's actually in this series so I don't know do I I don't know. We played a Nivea today, obviously, because I had a blind pick. Blind picking is the only time that I'm going to play a champ I know I'm good at. Because, like, I don't know what I'm against. So I need to default on something that I know I'm good. But, uh, yeah. But anyway, that is going to be it. If you guys did enjoy and wish me luck for the master promo, do throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe. See you guys next time. Goodbye. Call down the reckoning.